at around 10 a.m., police and the sister security agencies cordoned off the offices that has the National Unity Party headquarters in Cambridge. Unbeknownst of the happenings outside, the party members were in for their local council meeting when the raid started. The security forces confiscated military insignia, berry, and machines used for their production. After the raid, the party spokesperson Joel Senyanyi briefed the journalist on what transpired at the party headquarters. Police spokesperson flanked by the deputy army spokesperson later addressed journalists at the central police station saying that the raid targeted all locations that were illegally manufacturing, distributing designated military wear. Conducted today, the operation basically was on the illegal use of uniforms and uh, accoutrements of the armed forces by civilians and uh, this is... Uh, a serious concern which was uh, brought to the attention of the joint leadership of the armed forces uh, after witnessing an increase in the number of civilians illegally wearing uniforms and accoutrements that are an exclusive preserve of the armed forces in Uganda. The police has warned any celebrities, theatrical groups or civilians to henceforth desist from using artists that have insignia or look like the armed forces uniform. If you, are, you have been having these uniforms, but you are taking it lately, you better bring them and hand them over voluntarily. Then we shall not go for you. But if you keep it and we find it with you, definitely we'll catch up with you. Sharon Chomjisha, UBC News.